guys, my videos are going to be a little bit out of order because I had to do some moving around because of my drawing that I did. And um, if anyone knows the Texas Leslie, reach out to her because she has not contacted me. And um, I would just... I just wanted to give one more shout out to her for winning my little birthday giveaway. And I want to get going on it because I'm starting to feel better. So thank you for all the well wishes and thank you for all my happy birthdays on that video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I am so close to 1,000. Come on. I think I only have like 23 more people to go. We can do this. Anyway. Um, so it's really not why I'm here, but you know, it's kind of exciting. It's a milestone for everyone who does YouTube. And uh, yeah, so if you know Texas Life Leslie, then please contact her. I tagged her and I'll tag her again on this. If I do not hear from her by Friday. So if I haven't heard from you, Leslie, by Friday, please, 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 please don't be, you know, hurt and offended, but I really need to get moving on this. So I did keep everybody else's names and I'm going to do another drawing on Friday and I will post the new winner if I have not heard from her by Thursday night, Thursday night, Leslie, um, by midnight Central Eastern time, please. I would appreciate it. And I, uh, you could just tag me on this video or tag me on my giveaway video or whatever, but um, I'm hoping to hear from you so I can get going on the giveaway and I'm sure everybody wants to get going on the lives. Alrighty, I did hit up, once again, the Goodwill bins because it's next door to my grocery store and I had to get groceries after being kind of shut in for the last five days from being not feeling well but I am on the road to recovery, so that was good. And I went and saw the total eclipse, everybody. I was in the line of totali totality. And so I ended up driving like about an hour and a half and got to witness the eclipse. It was such an amazing, awesome display of wonder. It really was cool. And if you got to see it in any form, it was. it's just amazing how the sun gives off so much warmth and light, but I never realized that when the sun is covered, like the temperature just dropped. And it just made me think about without the sun, like we would die. And without the sun, I'm going to be preaching now because I'm feeling this kind of coming on, S-O-N, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, Without him, I would have no life. And so it just was a really cool display of, of how our, how delicate our universe is. And it just brought back the scriptures of how like he hung the stars and he put the sun and the moon in their place. And literally everything is just in such working order. I do not know or understand how people don't believe in, in God. And it's just so fascinating. And I, I was just having like a real moment <laughs> with the Lord. So, all righty, let's get back to the Goodwill games. Uh, anyway, I went to the Goodwill bins and I picked up a few things. So this is gonna be a pretty big book haul because that's mainly what I bought there. I did find a couple couple more items but I got a lot of books but first let me talk about I did go to the Dollar Tree because it's next door to my Goodwill regular Goodwill and um, when I was in the Dollar Tree I thought you guys might want to know mine ended up having at the crafter square this fusible interfacing for $1.25 now I have not used this I cannot attest to this but if you do not have like a Joann's or sewing store and you need to get fusible interfacing they do have it for $1.25 I don't no, the thickness, if it's it's lightweight, great for dresses, blouses, it's sewable, machine washable, non-woven poly blend. It doesn't say whether it's double-sided interfacing. 
Okay, before using iron-on fusible interfacing, always pre-wash all materials without using fabric softeners in your washer or dryer. Pre-test, preheat the iron on a cotton setting, no steam. Uh, cut away. It sounds like it's just gonna be a one, place a rough side, yeah. So it's one side. So what this is gonna end up doing is just making an item like a little firmer. So say I wanted to, I've had this like thin fabric and I wanna make this a little bit, add a little more like stiffness to it. Uh, if I wanna use it on a cover, then I would add some interfacing. I'm not sure about the weight. So it's great for use for uh, blouses. So it must be extremely lightweight. It is. So this might be good for tags. Uh, it's not gonna hold it super stiff and it is only fusible on one side. But I thought I'd give it a, a shot. I can't imagine what kind of blouse size you could make out of this little piece, but okay. Anyway, it's for crafting, and I thought I'd give it a try. I'll let you know how it goes. The second thing I found at my Dollar uh, Tree, which I hadn't had before, are over in the dish towel, dish towel section. These were two for $1.25 and they're microfiber and I'm not a big fan of microfiber. I, I don't know, it just it's the textile. It's the, uh, I don't know. It just gives me the creeps. It like, I feel like it sticks to my hands or something. I don't know. I'm with Tim Holtz on that one. I do, I understand. If you can use it, good on you, I can't. But this one, however, does, it feels more terry cloth than microfiber, so I don't know. But the reason why I got it was for my craft room because, and I chose the black. They had other colors, but I figured if I'm using inks and paints and stuff, it's not gonna show as bad and won't look as dirty. But it's got this scrubbable side. So when I get glue on my fingers or something like that, I can just like scrub it on this side. Or if I need to take something off, I can just scrub it with that side. So I thought that was kind of a cool thing. If you go to the Dollar Tree, uh, look for these. They come in a two pack just like this and they're over by the dish towels. Okay. And they do have prettier colors if you're into color and paint and inks and stuff on them doesn't bother you, you know. Uh, okay, so, oh, well, I can talk about this. I, I already harvested these. So this was a top that I harvested. This came from the Goodwill bins. This was a top, but I loved the fact that it's sheer, it's pink, and it is um, not real. It's like a faux Swiss thought. So anyway, but I just thought this was super pretty. It's gonna be really pretty. I'm working on a journal with a lot of pink in it. And uh, and then this had daisies on it. So I did get this. I wanna show you this too. So this was a little girl's dress. It was a four toddler. And it, but look how much fabric was in this because it's all, it was all gathered across the top. I mean, that's a good half a yard of fabric that I can use <clears throat> in a journal. And I just think I love using the uh, children's clothing because the prints are smaller. So you get a smaller print. So that's something to look out for if you are thrifting and you can get good buys on, uh, on you know, clothing. It's always really good because at the point where it goes to Goodwill bins, after it leaves the Goodwill bins, it's going in for recycling. So what's the difference whether I recycle it in my junk journals or it goes to Recycling. All right, let's get her off. I found her, oh my goodness, she's so cute. Little tin, and um, I'm, I'm doing the journals in a tin series, and so I'm kind of collecting my tins right now. So I saw her in the bins, and I had to pick her up. She's actually from Memphis, Tennessee, made in the US. Probably some cookies may have come in her. I don't know, it doesn't say. But anyway, thought she was really cute. Got her. Then I got some books. Like I need more cookbooks. Like I need another hole in the head. I, I don't know. But pies, okay, had me at pies. I love pies. This is 1978. I'm not gonna bore you by doing a big old flip through. Uh, however, look at this raspberry cherry pie. I mean, I'm just, I'm wanting pie right now. This looks so good. Oh my goodness. You know I'm working on those 12 recipe journals and now I've got a whole nother stack. Oh, I need to pull this out for that. I've been pulling some things for summer journal and this will be perfect. Uh, so anyway, look at that, I'm already harvesting. Okay, so wow, all the picture 
peppermint. Oh my goodness, that would be great for at Christmas time or after Christmas time when they have all these peppermints on, on clearance, you know? Get those. Make yourself some. Wow. Okay. Grasshopper pie. Pie crusts and toppers. I need to, I want to perfect my pie crust ability. I made, I make my own pie crust. <clears throat> okay, this is good because this gives you for lard and I need one for lard because I bought some lard and it has a double crust. So I might try this. Oh, however, oh, it does have salt in it. Okay, good. Anyway, got that one. Pies. Then I found Ideals. I did not realize that Ideals, you know, the Ideals books that we love so much, has a Hershey's Chocolate and Cocoa Cookbook. And here it is. Let me see what year it's from. So if you love Ideals, find this cookbook. It is a 1982. 1982, so not that old. And, uh, but... Yum, like who doesn't love these peanutty chewy bars? Hello. Uh, anyway, look at, love this tin. Look at, it's like a lunchbox. Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Or a basket. Ah, I'd love to find that. Adorbs. Anyway, so I thought this would be, uh, the images in here, the roses. Let me cut that one out for my rose journal. <gasps> Yum, fondue. I have several fondue pots and I wanna have a fondue party. Once I am in my home. Okay, these would be good. The chocolate cheese cups because it has cream cheese. Who doesn't love cream cheese in their baked goods? Anyway, okay, got that. McCall's Do Ahead Party Book. Hello, I love the font, is amazing. I'm going to say this is definite. Look at this, oh my goodness. Oh, it was done in Orlando, Florida, no idea. Advanced publishing, look how cute. Okay, I would have to say this is a be on the look, look for, look out for <clears throat> book. Mm, wow, that sounds good. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Prune and apricot? No. <laughs> Look good. Candies and confections. Pot. Look how cute these pages are. I don't know that I lay these luncheons. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I could cut into this. This is so cute. I may have to keep it for a little bit and just pet it. Bridal buffets. Can't imagine taking on a children's party. Look at this. How cute is that for a little boy's party or a little girl's party? Wow, wow, West. I don't know if they even do that anymore. Is that even politically correct anymore? Here's a graduation party. Anyway, super cute. Then I got this one, 193 sweet treats for every occasion. Cakes and torts. This looks like 1950s. But look at the pictures in this one. Oh, this one is another one I just want to pet. Yeah, this is 1957 and 1965. So I guess it came out in 1957. This <clears throat> but look how sweet. Oh, the illustrations in this and the pink pages. Come on now. Butter type. Aren't they cute? Do they even make cookbooks like this anymore with just really cute illustrations in it? I don't know. How, how can I leave it in the bin? The Wilton way to decorate for Christmas. This is kind of neat. This will go with my Christmas stash. This one is from 1976. Are those cookies? Are those cookies? What's it say? Some kind of dough. Right? Ooh, I remember making these. We made this is uh, made out of sugar, like a big giant lollipop. Uh, bread dough, bread dough. It's kind of neat how they didn't do any kind of glaze. I don't know how that. La I do every now and then find the dough 
Do you ever find those at estate sales or anything like that? Oh, this one's coming apart. Oh, this is, a, is this string art? Lacy pastel filigree. Oh, you actually make that. That's actually made of something like edible. Look at these things. I don't know if I'd hang them on my tree and after a month then sit and eat them. Uh, oh, it's made with royal icing. What? Egg molds? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is, yep, hard candy. Made those when I was a kid. Sure did. Sure did. Look at those. Oh my goodness, look at the egg baskets. How cute. Seriously? Made from sugar molds. All right, I won't, uh, oh my goodness, look at these girls. Remember those? Yep. Wow, that's cute. Mm, 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 mm. French bonbons. Uh, I never liked, uh, what's this stuff called? I never like this stuff. Uh, marzipan. Ooh, they have it all over Denmark. And when I was there, everybody, everybody over there eats it. I don't, I could not. It's too rich for me. And I don't, I don't know. Something about the almondy kind of flavor didn't do anything for me. To each his own. Okay, this is not a cookbook because I thought I'd take a little break. And I found pre-cut stencils for home decorating and crafts. I think... This is just an example of uh, stencils that you can buy because there's numbers attached to it. Yeah, it's like an order form. But I thought that, let's see what the prices were back then. Oh, like $36. Um, but anyway, thought that was kind of neat back in the day when everything was stenciled. Super cute. Okay, the anatomy of costume. I thought this would be fun to fussy cut. Look at this. This book is from 1970, what? 1977, how cute. And, but look at them, all different kinds of costumes. From, oh, all different eras. This is an art, an art book, so apparently uh, we may be seeing some body parts. Uh, anyway, cool, huh? Thought this one was really neat. But fun to, look at her, she's beautiful. Look at her, she's beautiful. Fun to fussy cut out these people. Okay, look how they're like oh, she's holding the kid <laughs> on the side. <laughs> oh gosh. Anyway, I thought this would be a really neat book. I'm gonna read about it first, but then I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna cut into it. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay, don't you know me? So I got that one. More. Oh yes. Buffy and the New Girl. Come on, this is a Telladale book. Ah, uh, in fact, you know what I ended up doing last night? I ended up on my TV. Freebie has all of the Family Affair. Look at all the old Family Affair shows. So I sat 1969. So I sat and I watched. I watched a bunch of them last night before I went to sleep. Oh, it's Buffy. Mrs. Beasley. They introduced Mrs. Beasley in the first episode. And she, uh, when she met Mr. French, she bit him on the leg. He did not like children. It was in that first show. Um, it was very interesting. <laughs> uh, anyway, <clears throat> that's Telltale. I thought that was cute. This was Jean Craig Grows Up, a Falcon book. Oh, uh, a Christmas party. That's cool. Mid something class. He drew my name. Oh, intermediate class Christmas party. Church Christmas party. Intermediate class. Sunny Glenn. He drew my name. And I guess he bought her. This was the book as a gift. 
there were three speckled bob white eggs. There's not uh, any, there's no illustrations, but I thought the cover was super sweet and look how already aged the pages were, you know, pretty cool. Okay, this was Alice Johnson's book from Millington, Tennessee. But now it is owned by Virginia Marie Hall at 109 Line Street in Senatobia. And it said, now, then. Isn't that funny? Anyway, I got to clean it up. But I thought this was really sweet. Super sweet. Okay, back to the cookbooks. I'm going to kind of do the cookbooks in. Look how cute this little one is. Betty Crocker, Betty Crocker's cook... Ugh, I can't even talk. Betty Crocker picture... <laughs> say this ten times fast. A Betty Crocker picture cookbook, cookies, cakes, and pies. Woo, Okay. This is 1982, so not that old. But when you think about it, it's 40 years ago. Like, wah. it just seems like it was yesterday. Now I sound like my mother. Okay, peanut butter cookies. Anyway, this really, I thought this was a really cute size, and I think it'll be really good for uh, journaling cards in my recipe, my recipe journals that I'm working on. On the farm, okay. I, I, this looks like a remake of an old book, but I was thinking about, look at the little lamb. There you go, Sandy. Uh, anyway, the little cow herd. I don't, I don't know that this actually has a year. It looks like the illustrations are from the 20s though. So, but this is definitely a remake of an old. I need to pull this out. I need to pull this out for, for Sandy. Sandy, I got a little pile going for you, you know, now. I'm gonna have to get in contact with you. In the orchard, gardening, picking flowers. Anyway, isn't that sweet? Oh, chickens. I gotta add this to my little chicken journal for my covert chicken house. Anyway, thought that was really cute. Oh, it is, it's 1984. So Then I got, it's called The Mitten. I couldn't leave this one behind because, oh my goodness, the illustrations are so cute. They're line drawn and then they're colored. Some of the parts are colored in, but how cute are these illustrations? The little winter bunny. Look at, they made a home in a mitten, in a fur lined mitten. How do you like that? That's, look at them, they're all in there all nice and cozy. <laughs> how clever these little critters are. Oh, and then you got the big bad wolf always coming, right? Oh no, the wolf got in there with them. Oh no, that's a fox. Okay, now the big bad wolf comes. Why did, why did they call it that? If it weren't bad enough, the next visitor was a big gray wolf who wanted to come in too. Oh no, they, he got in there with them. And then look, he put a hole in it so that he could look at <laughs> Oh no, what is this thing? Some kind of hog. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh no, look at <laughs> his little feet are outside. This is really cute. What a cute little book. Anyway, so all that going on in her little lost mitten. Very, very sweet. Very sweet book. Okay. I found Petunia and I had never heard of this book, but I want to say somebody just did a book haul and showed this book, but I can't remember who it was that I watched. And then I found it. And the only reason why I picked it up was because I remember how cute the pictures were when she did the book haul. I just love the line drawing and the colors. How cute is this? So bright and summery. Like, oh my goodness, look at this. So really cute. So love this. I will definitely read these, um, but I love the illustrations in this. Look at this. This would be cute on a tag in a farm journal. So, thank you for whoever hauled this. I don't know if it was Sandy or if it was Hazel, because I've watched both theirs. But that was cute. Okay, then I found this guide for guys. And I know Angela, the traveling crafter, has been talking about doing guide journals. And I have had like six books I want to redo, like I want to do. And I have a bunch of men kits in my, in my shop, my Etsy shop. And I'm thinking, and they just haven't sold and they've been in there now for since last year since I did uh for Father's Day I put some in there and so I thought well maybe I'll just make some journals out of it and 
Uh, anyway, but I thought this was really cool because it has a, a compass on the in, on the binding, and look how cute that binding would be. So this might be, if you're gonna do a man journal, this might be a really neat book to look for. This one is called, from 2007, so it's not that old. Uh, Guide for Guys, and but look at the, look at how cute the illustrations are inside. So it teaches you even how to dance, tools and how to use them. So they're like vintage little, um, they have sayings in here, uh, vintage illustrations, five knots worth knowing. I'm terrible at knot tying. How to train your dog. I need to give that to a friend of mine. Make small talk. I need to give that to a friend of mine. <laughs> How to tie a tie. I don't know, do guys still wear ties? Survive an animal attack. Every person should have that. <laughs> so, uh, this anyway, be on the lookout for this one, how to win an arm wrestle. Wait, this, I'm looking at, this is where, so somebody must have bought it and really looked at how to play chess because how to write a thank you note, perform the Heimlich maneuver. Anyway, is this cute? Break up with a woman tactfully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm kind of concerned because this one's kind of open to that page too. <laughs> I don't see anybody's name on here though. Anyway, so there's that one. That would be a fun book to read purpose. And then I found Homemade cookie, Cookies Cookbook from Better Homes and Garden. See my theme here, Pies and Cookies, uh, 1975. And the pages are like perfectly yellowed, but look at look at the photos in here. If I can get them to, ooh, mmm, that one looks good. Tri level German chocolate brownies. Yum! I love German chocolate cake. I wonder. Uh, okay. One more, people. My last one, and then I will let you go. Oh no, I have two more things that I got at Goodwill bins. Okay, all time fa baking favorites. This one is by Family Circle. Oh yeah, and then I found this Shirley Temple Heidi VHS, and uh, I am working on, and I've been working at collecting Heidi stuff. Uh, since last year for my friend who we have a running joke um, about Heidi so um, I've been working on collecting stuff and when I saw that I had to grab it so I have a little envelope going for her and this is 1978 I loved the cool they have really neat illustrations and also the pictures in this are neat they're just a different they're so 70s like, the, even the font is amazing, and uh, I just, I loved everything about the inside of this. That is why I definitely, definitely got it. Vienna Crescents, Cuban bread. You can make your own Cuban bread? What? Yeast, warm water, sugar, salt, and six cups of flour. Hmm, I'm gonna have to try that. I love Cuban sandwiches. Okay. Anyway, doesn't this look yummy? I am hungry. Okay, look how cute this is to fussy cut these out and <clears throat> put them in a pocket in my uh, recipe journals. Oh my goodness. This I need to put a flag on because I definitely want to use this one in my recipe journal. And then I'm going to make myself a note so I won't forget what I'm gonna use this for. Cut and to put in pockets. So there's that. I just like the brown, the brown, the yellows, pies. Can you tell I'm like really hungry? Look how pretty that is. It is lunchtime. It may even be past lunchtime. So it's always amazing to me when you have pl plentiful fat stores in your body that uh, your body won't listen to the fact that um, 
you know, it can burn off some of that stuff instead of putting more food in. It can burn off some of the stuff I already, I already have. Okay, last two items, I digress. Okay, last two items are, now I didn't pay this much because these came out of the Goodwill bin, but I found these block printing stamps. Uh, this is by Plaid, and they used to use these, I think in, is it Batik or, um, they used to use it on fabric, so it they use it here with paint, and that's how I saw it back at CHA when this came out, yeah, 2015. And uh, so anyway, thought these were kind of cool. I got that. And then I found, look at, can you believe these things were at Goodwill for $3.99? What, you can buy them at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Who cares if they're vitamin E infused? But I got them for like painting, pouncing, inking, all that stuff. But seriously, three ninety nine? No. I, I'm I'm I've been kind of disappointed with how much stuff is lately at my local. I can, I don't know if you guys have been noticing the prices going up, but I definitely have noticed. And I don't know if it's because we have a, uh. If we have a Goodwill bin and that's how come they, so they mark it up and then, but that doesn't make any sense because people are just going to wait because they throw it all over at the Goodwill bin. I don't know, but it's something to note. Alrighty. Thank you so much for joining me again. If I don't hear from Texas Life Leslie or Texas, the Texas Leslie, <laughs> I, I'm going to tag you again in this video. If I don't hear from you Thursday night. Central time at midnight. I am going to draw another name on Friday this coming Friday from my other names that I already had from that video I kept them remember I told you I would they're still in Sorry, the wrong way. They're still in this thing. Everybody's names in here here, Texas the Texas Leslie That's who won my giveaway and if you don't reply to me by Thursday, I had given you a week and uh, anyway, I'm going to draw another name. So hopefully you haven't given up and uh, you may be the next winner. We'll see. Okay, bye guys.